ho! Hi there, I'm Ben. I'm a paleontologist from Southern Australia and I love whales. Why? Because you could never imagine them living on land. They dive up to three kilometers below the surface of the water. They can hold their breath for over three hours. They eat metric tons of food in a single day and are the top predators of their marine realm. But we know that at one stage throughout their evolutionary history, they lived on land. They are mammals that suckle their young with milk, breathe air, and even have hair follicles on the end of their nose. In this new series, we're going to be showcasing the remarkable evolutionary steps of the whale. How they transitioned from the land into the water and became the biggest creatures the world had ever seen. But the first question we've got to ask is why would the whale go back into the water at all? something to do with the extinction of the dinosaurs. 66 million years ago, the Earth was a very different place. Those terrible lizards ruled the land. In the sky, huge pterosaurs reigned supreme, and in the water, frightful marine reptiles such as the mosasaurs swam uncontested. But unbeknownst to each of these inhabitants, a giant rock was hurtling from out of space towards Earth, traveling 20 times the speed of a bullet and roughly the same size of Mount Everest, it's shuddered into the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico roughly 66.03 million years ago. It created a crater 20 kilometers deep, 150 kilometers wide. It was the equivalent of dropping 30 billion Hiroshima bombs in the same spot. tsunamis over a kilometer in height ravage the oceans alongside earthquakes and volcanic eruptions across the globe. 75% of all life was wiped out in a very short amount of time. If you weighed more than 25 kilograms and were warm-blooded, you simply did not survive. Many dinosaurs died out. The pterosaurs were faint memories preserved in stone. But more importantly, those frightful marine reptiles, the mosasaurs, never stood a chance against this cataclysm. It paved the way for a new marine predator. It would take the Earth more than 10 million years to reach similar biodiversity levels. The oceans with a new glut of food were primed for a new apex predator. A vacant niche was present and a small, four-legged otter-like creature was taking its first tentative steps back into the water. Ben out. Whoa! Sup y'all, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and join us next week as we go in search of the 15 million year old walking whale from Indo-Pakistan, Pakistanis.